Hey Cancer, what's up? <clears throat> Welcome to your reading. Let's see Cancer. Does look like there is someone who is thinking of communication with you. Okay, someone who wants to communicate with you. What's the beta of swords? This is watching you from a distance, analyzing, you know, gathering information before their move. Beta of swords. You know, um, this person out here is the, the page of swords is twice out here. So this is someone out here who's genuinely watching you, like, you know, very, very closely, like watching you like a hawk. They are very conflicted in their head. For some of you, this person out here is overwhelmed about making a decision out here. Okay. They don't know what to do. They could be juggling two options, could be juggling you and someone else, you know. Or could be just juggling the idea of what to do next about this connection. But I feel for a lot of you, this person's overwhelmed, okay? And some of you, this person has made a choice, okay? But they're still a little back and forth. Maybe they feel there's too much drama involved if they come towards you, okay? They know they got to fight for this. They know they got to stand up for this. They know there's conflict involved out here, okay? But they still need some time, okay? Before they can completely come towards you with their idea that they have in mind, okay? And move things forward. Now, what happened in the past? So, there could have been forward movement in the past. So there could be some communication. I feel you moved away from someone. Yeah, you walked away. Because something turned out to be a waste of time for you. Okay. Uh, you invested a lot in someone out here hoping, wishing, praying while investing that this is going to be turning out as the desired outcome that you wanted. Unfortunately, it didn't. Unfortunately, it didn't. Okay. It was something was like a waste of time is what I'm getting. Okay. You just felt like money down the drain or, you know, uh, you were just questioning your investment. Like, did I just waste my time? You know, this was something was a big disappointment and you just like, you know, released yourself from a situation that was stuck, that was stagnant, there was no forward movement and you just kept going your way. Okay. But that it happened very quickly is what I'm getting out here. Um, yeah, there was a lot of hopelessness in the past. Okay. Because I think you waited and waited and waited in hope that it will move forward. Okay. You had a lot of, uh, you felt very promising. The situation felt very promising, but things just went south. Okay. Okay. Someone out here in the current situation is stuck in their head. Okay. They want a new beginning with you. They want something uh, stable, secure with you, but they're stuck in their head. Okay. Yeah. Someone wants growth. So guys, I am getting someone out here who's holding back, okay? They may, they do want commitment with you. They do want marriage with you. They see you as very abundant, okay? They see you as a mother. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Uh, a motherly energy, excuse me, a motherly energy. Someone very nurturing, very caring, etc. But um, they're holding back. They're being very kiddish, guys. They're being very kiddish. They need to open up. They know this is the right thing to do, but they're not being able to trust that intuition okay this person out here is disconnected from the intuition you know you're also dealing with someone out here who runs from reality or has a hard time facing reality you know maybe they know things have ended between you both or maybe they know that they need to apologize and they need to come forward but for some reason they're just being very stubborn and rigid only because they're stuck in their head and this is all them coming in their own way honestly it's just them coming in their own way don't bother this is not you this is them very immature person out here okay emotionally immature all right uh, now they want a new beginning with you okay and more like a new beginning that holds stability and security okay where things can get off ground in a very practical manner okay where things are more uh, tangible Yeah, you know, so it's like, you know what, first of all, this person's pretty heartbroken. Yeah, 
So this person out here is clearly at a crossroads about wanting to come towards you and offer you commitment, you know. Not a first fledged commitment, I wouldn't say that, but I'd say at least a good start, a promising start. So, you know, there's a lot of self-doubt coming from their side, you know, like, is this, is this going to work out? Uh, you know, are you going to give them another chance? Is this workable? Is this doable? Because there has been heartbreak out here. So you, Cancer, could have healed from this heartbreak. You could have, you know, forgiven this person and you could have already had a whole new life. Or you could have just moved on. But this person out here is still not being able to digest the fact that things have ended so badly and it's still hurting. Okay. They want this with you. They want this with you. But it's their own fears that's coming in the way. Okay, which I don't think you or me can do much about it, except that you just have a lot of positive affirmations. And if you haven't forgiven this person, then please try forgiving this person. Okay, don't sometimes we give out a why because we're so pissed off, we're so angry at the opposite person that we start to uh, uh, give out negative vibrations. Okay, like you know, this is what he did to me, that is what he did to me. Even if you don't have to communicate this, you don't have to communicate this. This is just something that your wives give out because you're so hurt too, right? Maybe this person had a third party situation that they bought in. But if you're going, there's going to be so much of uh, um, hatefulness from your side for, this, for the ones who I'm talking to, uh, this person here is going to be even more intimidated and it's just going to stop them from coming towards you with a new beginning if you want this. Okay. All right. What's on this? What's grounding the situation is the Queen of Wands, right? Clarify the Queen of Wands. You guys are, your, your guards are up, guys. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. For some of you, so some of you, you're in no mood of reconciling, okay? No mood of reconciling. For the others of you, you just want some time away. You just want some time alone. You're not wanting to be with anyone. Doesn't matter it's this person or anyone you. You just don't want to socialize. You're just like a little antisocial right now. You know, you're just being a little antisocial right now. Maybe you just need a breather or a break. For the others of you, you could just, uh, you know, maybe you feel this person's friend zoning you. And that's not something that you're looking for, okay? So you're very focused on your career, your goals, your money. You're being very pragmatic. You're being very, very grounded right now, all right? And it's like that energy where you're focused on a new hobby. Maybe you've taken up a new job. Maybe started a new business. But there is this a very strong state of mind, confident state of mind that you are dwelling right now, okay, that you have right now, which is making you focus on things that are in your control rather than focusing on things that are not in your control, okay? But I feel your guards are up. You could have blocked this person energetically or blocked them on social media, it doesn't matter. But your guards are up and you're just being extra, extra careful to let anyone in or let this person in, okay? Because I don't think you're chasing this person anymore, okay? Now, what's the situation like? Why is the reading going down? Is because... Okay, this person out here, honestly, this person out here is still crying over spilt milk. Okay, they are. But the problem here is the readings going down is because you could be releasing this person out here. Okay, this person out here who you realize uh, there was no equal give and take. There was no equality. They took advantage of your generosity. You, you know, they took advantage of your kindness, the love, the balance that you brought into the connection. You were the only one doing all the work out here. Okay, so you do realize this. And it's like, you know what, for you, you're just feeling very hopeless. I think you're feeling very hopeless and you're releasing this temptation. Even though you may be tempted to hold on to this person, I feel a lot of you are releasing, you know, getting yourself out of this temptation and um, moving towards, uh, you know, uh, some of you could be moving towards uh, new love. Some of you could be moving towards commitment. The others of you could be just counting your blessings and just in that very celebratory energy where you're just like happy where you are. All right. You're happy where you are. 
some of you may even still want to reconcile you may still want a reunion with this person but it's like that feeling where it's over and done with this relationship cannot be salvaged okay and you're just wanting to uh, you're, you're just in that negative energy okay it's a very dark very low energy okay so uh, yeah consciously you are wanting to move forward but subconsciously i feel that you're still holding on okay holding on as in holding on to the pain okay that's the difference right that's how the conscious and subconscious works right the real action we take is when our subconscious is influenced okay the con that's when the conscious action happens so subconsciously you're still stuck in that energy okay you st a part of you still wants this but a part of you realizes that it's just toxic and you're letting it go now in the future we have the four of swords which is why we have this why is the four of swords here I feel there's still going to be some kind of a uh, what's the four of swords? Let's see. Four of swords. Yeah, I think a lot of you uh, are just going to be uh, healing, meditating. Okay, whilst this person out here watches you from a distance out here, okay, whilst this person still keeps watching you, okay, still keeps an eye on you, you guys out here are probably just moving on, choosing to disconnect, wrapping up the cycle for good, okay. I feel a lot of you are ending this for good out here, just choosing to disconnect, choosing to move forward because there is no movement, there is no communication, there is no decision being made, okay, maybe you're healing, they're healing, they're procrastinating too much, they're procrastinating too much, and for you, it's like, well. It's like a go, go, go for you. You're more like a go getter. Okay. You're so passionate about this person out here. But if this person does not choose to take action, you're just choosing to move forward and just focus on yourself. Focus on your career, your goals, focus on uh, being the best version of yourself, whatever that is. But I do feel you guys are just going to withdraw, retreat. Okay, earlier I think you guys were a little restless thinking about this connection, but now I feel you guys are going to completely disconnect yourself, detach yourself and just focus on you. Okay, but this person will come around. They're very close to giving you that offer. Very close. All right, <clears throat> let's take some love messages from your person. Some love messages for cancer from their person. Our vibrations are different, so we can't meet for now. It's true, right? Their vibrations are different. They're not in the same zone that you are in right now. You know, you're like a go, go, go. And they're more like, no, I need to wait it out. No, I'm procrastinating. No, I'm not sure. Uh, no, you know, remember, did you, if, I don't know if you guys noticed this. Just go back and see it. The fool card just flipped. And then I flipped it back. So this is what it's saying. That risk is coming in. That new beginning is coming in very soon. Okay. This person can't hold on for any longer. It's too difficult for me to come forward. Exactly. I literally feel they're talking to you. And one more card. I feel stuck where I am and unable to come to you. Yeah, they're stuck with the Eight of Swords. They're stuck in their own head. Okay. And the Eight of Swords can do that to you. It's an energy where you feel like there's just no way out. Okay. Give me uh, a card for Cancer and their connection. says focus on manifestation get your intentions right and improve your focus and concentration you want this person you need to manifest okay can't be so guarded all right can so think of a question in your mind and i'm going to ask the angels to answer it for you okay you can pause the video if you like angels please answer the question that cancer has in mind please answer the question that cancer has in mind we have to ask your angels and abundance is on <coughs> sorry abundance is on the way like i said this person out here sees you very very abundant okay and they will eventually come in they will eventually come in okay they're holding back but that's temporary they have to release it okay they have to open up eventually okay that's what i have for you just wait on a little bit longer and i think this person's on their way all right